Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this one I'll be drawing a cat's nose in graphite. So this is the reference photo. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, the picture is in colour but um, just edit the video, the video? Edit the picture so that it's in black and white which makes it a little bit easier to draw when you're drawing in black and white. So for this I'm going to be using the um, Carandash Graphwood graphite pencils. I've been really enjoying using these at the moment so I'm going to be using those and I'm also going to be using some of these. These are mechanical pencils and they're really thin ones and they're by Faber-Castell um, and I've been really liking these as well. So yeah I'm going to just get into it now. So I'm going to start off by picking a dark pencil so I'm going to play around with the lighting a little bit in this video just so I can kind of get used to what works best but anyway I'm going to start off with this 6B pencil and I'm just going to fill in the bits which are darkest in the reference photo I'm just going to shade in the darkest areas just to map them out a little bit which is all around the edges of the nose. Cat's noses don't have a huge amount of detail in them, but they're a very unique shape. And they're very, very different compared to dog's noses, which I'm, always, I'm gonna upload a um, dog's nose tutorial as well soon. I'm just pressing really, really lightly because I never want to press too hard straight away. This is just so I can picture exactly where all the dark, darkest areas are. I just find that's always the easiest way to start off when drawing with graphite is to just map out the darkest areas. can hear any banging or stuff that would probably be my neighbours. Sometimes I hear them banging about. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera but hopefully not. But anyway that's sort of the darkest darkest bit. <laughs> There's also quite a bit of darkness just above the nose. Just going to shade in that a little bit. Just seem like little circular motions. The circular, the kind of like swirly texture I'm creating, that will disappear as you add more layers, but just for the base layer, I tend to just do little circles. So that's sort of where the darkest areas are on the actual nose itself. There's this little line down the middle, just to fill in that a little bit more. And here, this kind of fades in, this dark area at the bottom of the nose, it kind of fades in 
to the main bit of the nose. I am going to slowly deepen it up. This rubber is the Tombow Mono Eraser and it's just a little thin tip of this. Um, there's that. And you can replace the nib and it's just really handy for doing small little bits. So here I just kind of shaded in a bit I didn't want to, so I just got rid of that. But that's one reason that I work really light at, at the beginning layer is because then you can rub out bits if you make a mistake. Because if you press too hard, it's sometimes quite hard to rub it out. I find my graphite, I still can't get as dark as I would like to get. So I tend to go in with... This is just a Faber Castell Polychromous pencil in black, and I tend to use that to go over all the darkest areas and just really, really deepen them up with that. So I will do that in a little bit. I just struggle to get dark enough when using just graphite alone, so I tend to mix in that a little bit. Continuing to darken it up. Been working from home all of this week because I had a couple of days off my part-time job and um, I still have not managed to get everything done that I wanted to get done. There's just never seems to be enough time. There's never enough hours in a day. But, yeah, what can we do? Just have to prioritise the things which are most important I guess and work on those first. Because my partner is working from home next week, I wanted to get two videos done today. Just so that I don't have to film when he's here, just because it makes me feel more self-conscious. So I'm trying to get two videos done, which is this tutorial and then the dog nose. And then I think I might do a complete um, animal tutorial. I don't know what kind of animal, maybe a dog because it's quite simple, or even a bird, I don't know. Put your suggestions down below of what animal you would like me to draw. And it will be a real time tutorial as well, so you can follow along. Um, feel free to use any graphite pencil. You don't have to use the, the brand that I'm using. Any graphite pencils will work. Um, I just like to switch my brands up every now and again with what I'm feeling. So they're all slightly different. They work slightly differently, but they all kind of give the same result in the end. So honestly, just use whatever graphite pencils you have.
in the graphite. I'm never going to get as dark as the reference picture because in the picture, as you can see here, the bit around the nose is incredibly dark. Um, I mean, some people do use like mark pen or something like that, which would be a good idea. I've never tried it myself, but you could use some sort of pen to make the blackest black areas really, really black could be a good idea to try. There we go. I mean I probably will darken up some of that a bit more but that's the start of it. And then there's all these little hairs coming out the sides, especially around the nose and mouths of animals. Um, pay, pay close attention to the colour, the colour, the direction of the hair. I'm going to use this really thin mechanical pencil for this actually. Um, yeah, pay close attention to the direction of the fur because it does change quite regularly around these kind of areas. And that's a little bit too light. I'm going to go back in with the this one eventually. I'm going to go for a 4B. Especially around this top part, the direction of the fur changes loads. on the actual nose itself and just mapping out some of the fur direction. Okay, so this bit of the nose is all a lot lighter than the outside bit, but there still is some shading there. It's not completely dark, so I'm just going to a light layer of colour over the entire nose using, this is a just a standard HP pencil a blending stump which I use all the time it's just a paper stump if you type in blending stump into eBay or Google or whatever it will come up with loads and then because just kind of over this side there's um a little bit of a lighter section, I'm just going to use my rubber to rub out some of the graphite. I know it might work better actually. So I've got a kneaded eraser here. It's just a rubber that you can shape basically. And you can dab it to lift up some of the graphite. To lighten up a little bit here at the top. I'm going to go back with my HP, I think. I'm 
to look closely at which parts are darker than others. So over this side there's a little bit of darker shading. And once you've added some shading to the actual nose, you will notice that around the edge you need to probably darken up quite a bit more. Again. That's okay, you can keep adjusting it as you go. Trying to kind of play around with the lighting as well because oh, I just I don't know if I have the my light too close, it's too dark, too um bright on the paper, sorry, so the graphite reflects off the light and then it doesn't look as dark as it does in person. So I have to just keep playing around with it until I come up with something that works well. Black spot there, let's just add that in. And a few little spots. You can add in things like that at the end if you want to, add in the details at the end. Stuff around this middle white section as well, so I'm just kind of doing little circular motions, building up the colour a little bit. Because there is a little bit of texture on the nose, these circular motions also help with bringing out some of that texture. going to darken up around the edge again in a minute. Go back in with my coloured pencil. I'm going to press quite a lot harder now. Sometimes I do this and then the lead snaps, which is typical, but these pencils are usually okay. The polychromos, they don't snap that much, just if you press too hard sometimes. You can see there, that's a lot darker. Now I'm pressing really hard. Just always tend to build up the dark slowly just in case and then adjust them as I go just to make sure that the value is correct.
can really see the difference in the values now, how dark this is around the edge now, standing out a lot more. Then after darkening up around the edge of the nose, you might notice some of the nose actually needs darkening again. So I think this section here needs to be darker. And you can just keep adjusting as you go, as you notice things need changing. So I'm gonna go to the 6B. up some of the sides nose. A little bit in the middle here. Keeping with the circular motions just to give a little bit of texture. Okay, that was looking at the moment. And I can just slowly add in the fur. I'm going to put in a ton of detail in the fur because the main focus of this video is the nose itself but, but yeah I'm still going to pay attention to all the direction of the fur around the nose keep all that accurate These um, really thin mechanical pencils, they're really good for like lighter bits. So if you just want to go over, create some really, really faint lines, they're really good for that. So like white fur, for example, it's really handy. What I might do is speed up this fur section around the edge and um, so I've done the slow focus on the nose itself and now I'm going to speed up the me drawing the fur around the edge so I'll come back to you when I've done that.
And here's the finished drawing. So I've just done all the fur here around the nose and now I'm going to do the most satisfying part which is peel these off. It just looks, <laughs> I just like doing it but for the sake of it just because it looks really clean and nice even though this is just a, for a tutorial but still it just is satisfying, it just looks really tidy. So yeah, there we go. That's the finished piece. Um, if you do follow along this tutorial, please let me know and send me a photo. Um, I'd love to see what you um, what you create and what you draw. Um, yeah, and I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to be uploading a dog's nose tutorial as well soon, probably the week after this week. Um, so yeah, please subscribe. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.